and uh, we're just gonna start to uh, plan. See if anybody joins us. That's a lot of safe spaces. Now let's go with this. There once was a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. Oh, thanks. That man was Zangetsu. No relation to Zangief from Street Fighter. Wrapped in chrisms and garb with eyes like fire. Really likes red. He relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him as he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another. He would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path, Ellipses. One night, he sensed the looming presence of a great demon and the wandering presence of a minor demon. He swore to eradicate all demons, no matter how much of a threat they posed. Bathed in moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within its wretched steel. It's a lot of text. On that night, either the demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade, depending on whom pissed him off more. I hope people can hear me over the music in this game. I cannot turn the music down. That is a thing that is occurring in in the the game itself. There's no way to turn it down. Oh well. So this is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. It is a Castlevania-esque game. Now, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, the, the not, not Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, but uh, Bloodstained <clears throat> uh, was a kickstarted game done by uh, IGA, the guy who did the most recent Castlevania games. And uh, this was the... I guess retro version that Inti Creates made instead to go along with that kickstarted game. <clears throat> the main Bloodstained game is not even out yet, but the the retro style game is done. Uh, and it's pretty boss looking, I gotta admit. It is very Castlevania-esque. No whip, I've got a, a demon killing sword that cuts down the uh, various things. And I've got a, a kind of whip thing, but it only goes in that direction when I hit that button. But it's cool, man. I, I, I dig this so far. Kill the ghost. Ghostly death. And, oh, it's it's just Castlevania with, with whip and candles, man. It's... I dig it, though. Oh, nothing there. Cool. I'm looking for Castlevania-type secrets. Because I like Castlevania. It's a game that I enjoy. Oh, I have a different weapon now. Apparently, like, the different colored candles give you different weapons. That rat exploded in blood. Ghost. Bloody rat, bloody rat. See, now I don't have the slide to move yet, so opening this is pointless. And I also can't appear to go through this. So this will be very Metroidvania in that uh, you're going to have to come back. So that'll be fun. How do they keep just such giant sacks of money in candles? They don't seem to fit. But whatever. Oh, but hey, here's Hell. Hel and there's a, uh, a, skele a skeleton telling me to go that way. It seems I can use sub-weapons with the triangle button. However, that would require weapon points. If I destroy lamps, perhaps I can find a magic potion to restore my weapon points. I also understand that I've got way more text here. Different colored lamps contain various sub-weapons I can use. Even so, I remain devoted to the sword. Alright, uh, Mr. Exposition. 
I like this weapon. Uh, it's good. It's got a better reach than the sword. So instead of like picking up hearts, you pick up little vials. And that's your weapon points. And, uh... Yeah. So that's a thing. Little vial giving you more... More powers is... Ow! Health is low. Well, not super low. And getting on a ghost train! Here we go. So far, nobody joining me in Twitch channel. That's fine. I bet you that chandelier is going to fall. Look at that. Shoddy construction. See, in Castlevania, the hearts would be giving you your weapon points. In this, hearts actually give you health, because that makes sense. This creature is faster than my blade. And, uh, yeah. There's another part that I can't slide under because I don't have a slidey character. This, uh, this is Insane Ian's first impressions. I have not played this yet, but I have actually seen it played, so it's a little bit of a, of a, of a goof here, so. I missed. Yay! A little portal thing sucks up the, uh, the thingies there. Destroy! Yeah. It's pretty badass, actually. It's very Castlevania-esque, and I like Castlevania. So this is... This game is right up my freaking alley. And uh, I didn't back... Ow. I did not back uh, Bloodstained on Kickstarter, because I had no money when the game was being kickstarted, so... Whoopsie-daisy. Alright. Hit the rock man with the portal thing. Yay! did the thing and uh, going down here and that skeleton is telling us to go that direction but I yep listening to him because I have no choice here we go this is this is so very Castlevania esque I dig this though I think we're coming up on a boss fight oh good I like the whip thing the whip thing's probably my favorite weapon Sub weapon. Oh look, he powers himself with the This is gonna be tough. Ow. Alright. More attacks. Everything is bad. Oh, and I'm out of weapon power. Boo. Oh. Oh, just... Oh, okay, all of those things are happening now. Fireballs. Ow, got me. I don't like it. And I can't hit him with my jump because my jump's not high enough. But I can hit him with this. Ha 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 ha. Woo! Kept moving on the last thing there, because otherwise I'd bump into his head and he'd hurt me. If I stand on this, I don't get hit with another attack. He does a blast that comes out of his chest, but I knew about it, because... Uh, yes, I, I've watched this be played. <laughs> Wasn't by me. Kind of, kind of a tough looking boss here, but it's actually not that difficult. Ow! Except, except when you can't dodge that stuff. That's tough. Tough stuff. I rhymed for... Look at that. Beat him. Uh, gotta... Oh yeah, I gotta get out of the way here. Hide behind this. Because they die with a death blast, and that could have hurt me. All the bosses apparently do this cheap thing where they... <clears throat> Try to uh, F you up with uh, one last hit. But I have taken its soul with my sword. Demon. And here's a person.
Thank you for saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? You. You're a shard binder. That power can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Wait. It is true that I am a shard binder. However, I have sworn to be ever righteous in my command of this power. I refuse to be used for evil. Then show me the proof of that determination in battle. Miriam has become an ally. So it's, uh... Zangetsu and Miriam. And you can switch between the characters now. With new allies, it appears I can use the L1, R1 buttons to switch places with them. No one is without strengths and weaknesses. If I make good use of my abilities, I can traverse seemingly impassable terrain. Whenever I reach a crossroads, I'll take the shortest path without fail. If I come to a fork in the path where I can't determine the shortcut, I'll follow the remains of a fallen adventurers to lead me in the right direction. So, you know, the skeletons that are pointing. Each of my allies has their own stamina. If their health gets too low, quickly switching places would be a wise idea. Each type of subweapon that appears when destroyed lamps can only be used by a certain person, it seems. No one else can even pick them up. <clears throat> Whip smash is the, the triangle button, or the square button. High jump is the X button. Slide is down in X. I'm gonna switch to her and do that, do that slidey thing. Yeah, and she's got a whip like Castlevania. So that's cool. Here we go. Oh, so very Castlevania-like in its map. Heading to a big ship. Frigid hell. Oh damn. Those beasts appear strong and determined. But I am also strong and determined. Yes. Just running back and forth. Cool. Oh, that that didn't seem uh, seem to do anything. Oh no, I missed I missed the thing. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. Your shield is useless because I have a whip and a dagger now. Okay, so oh, she can jump higher. So that's cool. Wants me to go this way instead. More health, good. It's a froggy looking thing. Here I go. You can jump out? Nope. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, I love the little Castlevania-esque touches. They really uh, know their stuff here. I had a feeling I was going to love this game. I really love this game. Because Castlevania 3 is my favorite, and switching between characters in this is very Castlevania reminiscent. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah. This is cool. And look, it's on a different plane, so it makes it easy to hit. Thank you for the convenience. Jumping is treacherous like Castlevania. Cool. more things to do. Oh wow, this guy has a spear. Cool. Skellington is telling me to go this way.
All right. And bad is enormous. Oh no, my gold. Can't can't seem to get up there. That's fine. I have to go this way anyway. <clears throat> Look at that dude. Oh, I've got a, a sickle. Whoa. Yeah. That was badass. Oh, jeez. All right then. Fine. Ah, oh, you suck. Oh god. And I don't have a thing that can go up, so I can't I can't get those. Oh man. Cool. Haha. <laughs> get it? Oh yeah, and I can slide and get that stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. That is not what I thought that was. Holy crap, it was one hit. That was boss. I'm a badass. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna switch to... Oh, look at that. There was a health thing there I totally could have given to her. Oh, this is gonna suck. All right, gotta switch from her because this this is gonna suck. She's gonna die otherwise. Oh gosh, that seems excessive. Damn. Giant rocks from the sky. Fine. I can't seem to hit it. Wow, this sucks. Oh man, died already. That that was awful. And now it's her. Oh, there's the health I needed. Shit. Okay. Ah, uh, not a lot of health here. This is gonna suck. This boss was tough. I got five lives, man. Don't ask me how that happened. Woo. All right, cool. That was better. Except the bat landed on me. Damn. Looks like a blast is gonna happen. It didn't do anything. Oh nope. Okay, woo! Man, and I'm down to like little health. Oh man, this is tough. Ah! Shit! Oh, I died. Damn it! I was close too, probably. All right. Well, both of them are back. So, like, in in this version of the battle mode. Oh, I, you know what? Yeah, in this version of the battle mode, you can uh, oh. You can, uh, 
<laughs> Howie. Ah! Damn. Ah, cut no attack power. Damn. Wasted it all. That's super dumb. There we go. A little bit of attack power. Use on this guy. Hooray. Oh, there's nothing in here now. That was pointless. Yay. Had just enough. Switching between characters is the best. Oh wait, it's right here. Health for me! Giant sickle! Ah, damn it! Wait, no, I need those! Cool. Not enough attack weapon power! Gotta kill this beastie. Howie. Did that but got hit. That was dumb. That was also dumb. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to slide, not jump. Dang it. Come on, drop down here and do your attack so I can hit you. Ah, I didn't jump time the jump right. That sucked. And I'm stuck with this dumb guy. His attacks are not going to be good. Ah, sword is too short. Damn it. Health is already low. Dumb. Comes out of his little pod. Oh god. Oh, he doesn't jump high enough to avoid that. Son of a bitch. Oh no, that's not even the attack I wanted. Son of a... Damn it. And this is gonna say, you gotta need her to, to beat him, this thing. I'm gonna die so fast. Uh, yep, died. Jumped right into it and died. Lame. All right. Switch into her because because she's bloodstained. No, that's the name of the game. Avoid the fire. All right, doing better. Oh god. Everything is awful. Alright. Cool. Alright. Alright. This is much better. Get that. Okay. Mm. 
All right, didn't want to lose health there, but uh, that bat always gets me. All right, run and slide. Get close to hit him. That ah, jumped too soon. Dang it. Damn it. Sweet, I'm gonna be close enough. Come on. Yeah! Oh man, what's this? Oh man, that final hit. See, it tries to get you with that final hit and took most of my life, but I beat it! <clears throat> and got all my health back. Sweet. And I appear to have freed someone else. Another soul trapped within. That would be defeated. That I would be defeated by a demon. I've been thoroughly humiliated. I'm Alfred, an alchemist. Alchemist, you use demons to fulfill your worldly desires. Every achievement requires a fair exchange. Even using demons is sometimes necessary. You have your own goals, correct? My power may be of use to even you. Your existence is unsettling to me, but your skills are not without value. I'll leave you your head where it is for now. That's... that's generous. Alfred has become an ally. So we've got Zangetsu, Miriam, and Alfred. One of these names doesn't belong. <clears throat> With new abilities, appears I use it. Yeah, we know that. Uh, yes, it was a good. We read that. For the pad, yes, but no. Even my allies has their own stamina. Yes, but sub weapon. Yes, we we determined that. Oh, he's got a Buster Rod. Giggity. He uses alchemy with with that, which uses weapon points. Uh, cool. Wow, he just hits him with his stick. Oh, and he's got a jump. Okay, good. It didn't say a jump, though. No slide. So that's cool. I can switch back. Whee! Alright, cool. Miriam seems like a good all-purpose character, though. She's got the reach. The brilliant void. So yeah, like this is this is pretty impressive. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this here, cause that uh, that's the first e impression of the game. The first couple levels. Can I save my game? Is there a way to save? Curse of the Moon, that uh, apparently lets you go back to an earlier level. That That's neat. I don't know if there's a continue screen or not. But uh, thanks for everybody not joining me to watch me play this fun game. Okie doke. Hope you uh, manage to watch this later. Thank you. Bye.